all right what is going on today youtube back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh pro commentary um and it looks like it's red eyes versus um we don't know yet but it's bastard player versus synced zinked and before this duel started um i, I forgot who was hosting it. whoever was i think bastard player was hosting he said you know prepare for some fun or some shit like that so we may have a very fun match today as you see, um, Bastard Pleb only has 13 cards. And what did he reveal? I didn't see that. Oh, Satellar Knights. Ew. This is going to be a very disgusting duel. What card is that? I've never seen this one. What does this do? Send one Satellar Knight monster from your hand to grave value if you do draw a card. Oh, so that's their Thorough Blade. I never knew they had one. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's decent. Um, but it looks like um, he's not going to be summoning anything i think it's just going to end his turn no he summons the pro uh, what's the name prosy wait what, what I, I i i don't pro I, I don't know or i don't know let me see the nab I, I have no clue how to pronounce this I, it hurts it hurts man it hurts Procyon? possibly possibly Procyon. so he just summons that sends a nab to the graveyard sets three to the back row and zinc is starting off with a gospel of revival or return of the dragon lords if from the tcg so he has two level seven so i'm believing he may be going into red eyes uh flare metal wait what is it called is it flare metal dragon oh a twin twister that is pretty good and he hit a magic cylinder in a bottomless trap hole so it's looking pretty fun to me looking like zinc i mean not zinc but bastard pleb does have a fun deck to play Let's see if he runs into a honest because that is good. That would kind of fuck everything up or a or storming. I was going to say not a storming, uh, the quaking, but he does have a mirror force. But that return of the dragon lord is going to protect him and he's going to be taking a minimum of what uh, 48 and then he takes an extra 11. So that's 59 in the first turn, leaving him down to 21. Then you can go into a flare metal and then with the flare metal bring back the red eyes and then you can use the black stone legend to put this one back in the deck and then add this back to your hand um if if, if he's going i don't know if he's going to do that but he should do that that is um the best play because it maximizes what you can do um it gets you two monsters on board um and it puts a card in your hand so for next turn you can do some shit so let actually he's going to bring back the flare oh it doesn't really matter and he should put this back unless you can't do it if you normal summon it. There we go. All right. So he does do the play. Zinked is, is he's, he's playing right. He is playing right. So now he's just opted down to four cards. So let's see. Altair is one. Deneb is two. Um, and he'd be down to a thousand. Then if he, oh no, Bastard Pleb surrenders. Don't tell me you're going to quit. All right. He does not quit. We're going in for the second duel of the day. And it didn't look like Bastard Pleb was going to be able to come out of that because he would have to expend 1,500 life points just to get a good, decent board on the uh, on the field. And it looks like Zinc is going to start off with a Red Eyes Fusion. This is looking like Red Eyes Turbo. We're going to find out right now if it, it, it may be Red Eyes. This may be the OTK. He's going to go ahead and inflict him with 14. Let's see if he uses the Infernal Fire Blast. Um, let's see if he plays it. And it looks like that is it. And it look, Magical Stone Excavation? Is it? Oh, no. He does not have it. He is just one card away. He may still have it. He may still. Oh, fuck. That hurt. Oh, look at that. That was bad. You probably should have. No, he, he didn't have anything in his hand. But it look, he's still going to be able to come back. Because this when this dies, it brings back a normal. Then this is going to get him a free search of a Red Eyes card. Um, so, I mean, he's good. He, I, I guess he's good. He can get a red eye season again and then he can, you know, he can get back on the board because he's pretty much, he has a game shot because of that 3,200 beater. Um, it can attack and it burns. So for 2,400, I believe, or if you target a red eyes in your grave or something like that. And this is not even a red eyes card, which is crazy. All right. So it looks like, um, bastard play up is starting off with a, uh, alt, what is that? A Vega? Vega into a, a, a Nokahai. Is that what it's called? I believe that's what it's called. He's probably going to send a Neb and then go into the uh, the Dark Satellar Knight. I forgot his name. I think it starts with a B. 
I want to say like Balka something. Is that it? No, it's Balt. It is Baltimus. Okay, there you go. Uh, is is uh wait yeah did I say that right? Batlimus. Wait, Bot Baltimus. I believe that's the name. Um, I possibly I just would have used the effect and went no. This is no. I definitely would have went Trevor. Trevor and attacked with 21 and then discard a card out of his hand, but um yeah, right? Yeah, I definitely would have went Trevor. I don't understand why he wait. I mean, uh he could do it anyway because now he can guarantee get rid of that red eyes fusion. So that's good. Let's see, he probably has two back rows. So it looks like even after a very strong turn one for no, he went Delta Rose. Why? What is this? What the fuck? Well, this man is having fun. I cannot, I can't argue with him, but it looks, it's over, I believe. He's going to take, no, it's not over. Because, actually, it may be over. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, target a red eye. So he's going to take 200 and an extra 24. And this is not going to trigger because you can't activate anything. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what Bastard Player was thinking. Um, he had control of the duel. He literally had game. Not game, but he had very pretty much, I don't know what this may be, but he had control of the duel. If he wouldn't traverse, he would have got the card out of his hand. And now it looks like he may lose. No, he has an Altair, so let's see if it's going to resolve. He's going to target. Uh-oh, he's targeting Vega. He is targeting Vega. Is this going to be? Oh, no. Oh, my God. He's going to get away. He's going to get away with it. Oh, let's see if he has a Deneb. If he has a Deneb in his hand, that's just going to be amazing. Let's see. No, it's uh, Mr. Procyon. Procyon. I don't know. I don't know. There's just different ways you could say that. Here goes the Trevere. And then he's going to go ahead and get that card out then and swing with 21. Hopefully he does do it. Please, Bastard Pleb, do not end your turn without using trevor's effect please use it so we thank you thank you we can keep we can keep this duel we can keep the go we can keep the fineness of this duel so now he has to top deck and let's see how many he only has one. Oh no that's all the red eyes fusions no oh he so he didn't set a card he did and he can go because i forgot this card existed Yes, he can go Constellar Diamond, and now he can negate Dark Effects. There's no Red Eyes Fusions. I don't know what he can do. I mean, he could type deck another Red Eyes Spirit. That may get him out of this situation. Ooh, type deck an an a High. Let's see if this. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how far he can go. He's down to 500. So all he needs is a Gospel of Revival. Any of that can win him the game right now. So let's see what's going to happen. He's down to 1200. Is coming down to the wire. Let's see what Zinc top decked. And is he going to come back and win? Oh, no, Zinc surrenders because he cannot withstand the Stellar Knight onslaught. And oh, that, was, that, was a, that was a close duel. It shouldn't have been as close. But, hey, you know what? It is close. It was down to 1,200 to 500. And it was, it, it was getting there. So, Zinc is starting off the duel, I believe. He's going to start off with a red eyes fusion. Him setting a card. Tells me that his hand may not be the greatest, but let's see what he does go into. He, he know there's no reason not to. Yes, yeah. so I was about to say there's no reason not to go into the the falling meteor back dragon, because not only can uh, not only does it, I mean not only does it burn, you can also revive a card. So yeah, he's sending this. So that may that must mean he doesn't really have the most the best hand. Um, <clears throat> but you know you got your opponent down at 68 and then you can go ahead and get a card back so let's see what happens let's see what the play starts off with he starts off with another regeki the same exact uh card I mean, same exact play from the first turn except he just he wasn't down to 3100 starts off with a regeki he's going to go ahead and use meteor's effect to go ahead and get the red eyes black flare dragon and a vega again oh my god this is looking like game two all over again regeki Vega, let's see what is he go. If he goes to a Noka High, there's some def there's some shit going on now. Let's see. Oh no, it's into a Deneb. It's even better. That that that's gotta fucking be demoralizing. Um, but let's see. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go into another Baltimus, and he's gonna use the effect.
to go into probably a Delta Rose because I can't imagine him going into a Trevor now because last he had a chance to go into a Trevor and he didn't he didn't he didn't even oh my God what is going on? All right, wait, oh wait a minute, is he going to go into that one card? Is, is he, oh, he's going to go into Anokahai. I thought he was going to go into that Pro Saran or Pro Saiyan or what, however you say the goddamn card. Ooh, now that has to hurt. That is actually pretty good. Like, he, he waited. Like, if he would eat, I would have possibly bottomless to Deneb. I would have been fucked over, but I would have bottomless. I would have used bottomless on that card. And then he would have used this, and I would have been fucked over. But getting rid of that is you know, a better option. So maybe, um, that either that's some next level reading or he just, he just got lucky because like I said, I would have spring the shit out of that bottom as soon as I seen that Deneb and you know, it wouldn't have been a wrong thing to do. Oh my God, this is looking like it's about to be, oh yeah, this is over. This is over and just wait, never mind. It might not be over because don't forget he does play honest. So let's see, because he can do massive amount of damage right now. Let's see. Oh, he's going to attack with the 24. Oh, this game is over. Sorry, folks. That is how it ends. Thank you guys for watching. Red Eyes came through and just obliterated um, the Satellar Knight player. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, if you guys did, leave a like, leave a comment. Also, subscribe if you have not already. And clicking that to help support the channel. Thank you very much. And see you guys tomorrow.